Hi, boys and girls. This is Ronald McDonald, and I have a story just for you. It's a mystery. You see, French fries are disappearing all over McDonald Land. Oh, one thing before we start our story. Every time you hear this sound, it's time to turn the page. But don't turn it yet. That was just practice. Now let's get on with our story. It was a bright, sunny day in McDonald Land. Grimace was having a snack in the park. He sat down under a tree and took some French fries and a strawberry milkshake out of his bag. Grimace had just started to eat when all of a sudden he heard a noise in the bushes. Crunch, 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 crunch. Who's there? Asked Grimace, but no one answered. Grimace got up and tiptoed over to the bushes, but he did not see anything. When he went back to finish his snack, he saw that all of his French fries were gone. Grimace knew he did not eat his French fries. Where could they be? He looked in the bushes. He looked behind the tree, but he could not find his French fries anywhere. All he found was a carrot where his French fries used to be. The next day, the captain was having dinner on his porch. Suddenly. He heard a strange noise in his vegetable garden. Crunch, 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 crunch! Halt! Who goes there? Said the captain, pulling out his wooden sword. No one answered, so the captain got up and went over to his garden. When he did not find anyone, he went back to finish his dinner. To his surprise, his French fries had disappeared. Blimey! Said the captain. They are gone. What? Did pirates take them? Asked Matey the captain's parrot. I Matey said the captain. Maybe it was pirates. The captain looked high and low, but he could not find the pirates or his French fries anywhere. All he found was a carrot where his French fries had been. The next day, Birdie the early bird was having lunch by the pond. Suddenly, she heard a strange crunching sound over in the flowers. Is someone there? Said Birdie, but no one answered. Birdie hopped over to the flowers, but she did not see anyone. When she went back to her lunch, her French fries had disappeared. Birdie went to tell the captain what had happened to her French fries. Just then, Grimace came running up to say that the same thing had happened to his. Let's go see the professor," said Bertie. "Maybe he can help us figure out who is taking all the French fries in McDonald Land." They all went to the professor's house to tell him about the mystery. "Maybe Hamburglar is the one taking the French fries," said the professor. "After all, he always tries to take our hamburgers." Everyone agreed that Hamburglar had probably taken their French fries, so they all went to ask him. Rubble, rubble, rubble! No, said Hamburglar. He says he did not do it, said Bertie. But nobody believed Hamburglar was telling the truth. After all, everyone knew that he tried to take a hamburger now and then. Every day, more French fries disappeared in McDonald Land. I have a plan to catch whoever is taking our French fries," said the professor. "Follow me." Grimace, Bertie, the captain, and Hamburglar all followed the professor to the park. When they got there, the professor put some French fries on a picnic table. "Now everybody hide," said the professor. "And whatever you do, keep your eyes on the fries." Everyone hid behind the trees and waited. They all tried to be very quiet. After a few minutes, they heard a strange crunching sound in the bushes. Crunch, 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 crunch! Suddenly, a little bunny rabbit hopped out of the bushes. He was crunching on a carrot. The bunny hopped up on the picnic table. Then, before you could say how much lunch can a bunny rabbit munch, he ate all the French fries. He left his carrot to pay for the French fries he had eaten. Then he quickly hopped off into the bushes. 
Well, I guess that solves the mystery of the missing French fries, said the professor. Hamburglar's friends all said they were sorry they did not believe him about the French fries. From now on, Hamburglar, we'll always believe you, said Bertie. Friends always tell friends the truth. Hamburglar gave each of his friends a big hug, and they all promised to always tell the truth. The next day, Bertie had a big party in honor of Hamburglar. Everyone in McDonald Land was invited, even the bunny rabbit and his 24 brothers and sisters. There were lots of hamburgers for Hamburglar, and a big bag of French fries for everyone in the rabbit family. Boy, what a great mystery! Did you guess who was taking the French fries before the end? Everyone thought it was Hamburglar, but he was telling the truth when he said he wasn't taking the fries. That's a good thing to remember: that friends tell friends the truth. That's how they stay friends. You know, that reminds me of a song. Took the fries, though he said he didn't. Everyone thought that he was telling lies. But you see, that isn't how good friends stick together side by side. It seems that they forgot the golden rule. Friends tell friends the truth. Everyone, hope you had fun singing along. 